Okay, so here's the plan. We are going to get an audio ebook from Overdrive and the library's website, and we're going to put it on an iPod. This is kind of the trickiest process, so that's why we're going to have this step by step video. Now, before you start this, you should have the following you should have Windows Media Player installed. That should come on your PC already. You should have installed the Overdrive Media Console. Below this window you'll see a link to download that if you haven't done that yet. You should also have iTunes installed. If you don't have that yet there's also a link to install that as well. Here's what we're going to do. Now that we have all those things done, we are first going to update our security settings. We're going to correct some iPod settings to make this work smoothly. We're going to download a book and we're going to transfer it to the iPod. So let's start by updating the security settings. This is a thing that's going on with Windows Media Player and the file has to sort of go through Windows Media Player. So the first part of that is upgrading the security so that it can play protected files. The easiest way to do that is to follow the link below this window and it'll take you to a screen that looks just like this and all you have to do is hit this button that says upgrade. It'll say upgrading security components excuse me, and it'll tell us it's been upgraded successfully so we're all good. If you already have Windows Media Player open you might want to close it and then reopen it again just to make sure those changes take effect. Okay, so now we've got that. The next step is going to be correcting the settings on the iPod to make sure everything's smooth. So you're going to need to open iTunes and have your iPod plugged into your computer. When you are looking at your iPod settings under devices and you click here, you'll see you've got a few different options of what you can do with your iPod. And if you scroll down under options, there is a box that says manually manage music and videos. You're going to need to click that box. What that does is keep it from syncing. And syncing is essentially your iPod and iTunes communicating with each other and deciding what should be on your iPod. You need to do the manual, which means you decide everything that's going to be on there in order for this to work. Okay, so we've got that set. So next we have to download an audiobook. So you'll go to our website, mylibrary.us. Under this media tab, you'll see audio ebooks. So we'll go ahead and open that guy up. Okay. You can see that here. And then we just have to pick one out. I went ahead and looked one up before we got started just to make this faster. So there are going to be two kinds of audiobooks that work on the iPod. Overdrive WMA audiobooks and Overdrive MP3 audiobooks. The easiest way to tell is when you see a title like this, if this little iPod box is blue, that means you can use it on an iPod. So I'm going to add that to my cart, and then I'm going to proceed to check out. Okay, then I need to enter my library card number, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now. All right, so now I've logged in with my library card number. I can change my checkout period from 7 days to 14 days, depending what I want to do. I'm going to do a 14 day because I'm a slow listener. Say confirm checkout. I'm going to go ahead and say download. And I will allow Overdrive Media Console there. And download it to this folder. OK. And then we should see it pop up right here. So now it's going to ask me which parts I want to download. You can see it's chopped up into four parts. You can see how long each one is and what file size it is. So I have all of them checked. I'm going to just go ahead and check part one for right now, just so you all can see, and say OK. So then we'll go ahead and get that download. You can see down here we've got downloading part one of Nobody Move. And we are 30% done. Great chance for me to take a drink of water. Maybe two drinks of water, huh? So we should be done in about 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one, point five, zero. All right, so we have part one all set to go. So now I want to transfer part one of Nobody Move to my iPod. So on this Overdrive Media Console, I'm going to go to this button that says Transfer. And that's going to say it's taking me through the steps to transfer that to my device. So I'm going to hit Next. Then what this does is looks for my device. So you can see here the title, Nobody Move, the player, which is the Apple iPod, which is the correct one I'm looking for. You can pull this down too if for some reason you had more than one plugged in at a time. I'm going to transfer part one right now because that's the only part I've downloaded. So I'll hit next. This is just telling me their recommended import settings and what my import setting is. You can change this in your iPod settings if you want, but you don't necessarily have to. You can also um, hit the F1 key if you want detailed instructions on how to do that. I'm going to just hit next. So now you can see the status. Right now it's waiting to transfer. I don't know why that's a status, but there it is. And now it's transferring. And you can see the progress here. Estimated time remaining. Holy cow. I know it seems long, but I promise it flies by. Just wait. All right, so what we're going to do is, through the magic of time travel, I went ahead and finished the download, and then hit the button that says finish or done, 
on that window to get us here. So now we're in iTunes. You can see my iPod right here. You can see we've used up a little space, 0.1 gigs. You can also see we've got a new category, books, down here, and we've got that Nobody Move Part 1 right there. Sometimes this category of books doesn't show up right away, and what you'll need to do is give it a minute and then hit this eject button, eject your iPod, and you should actually be able to find the book on there. It just doesn't always show up on iTunes right away. So I'm going to go ahead and eject that. Once you have your iPod ejected, go ahead and use the click wheel to navigate. Click where it says music. Then you should have a category for audiobooks. And there I've got Nobody Move Part 1. You can even hear it a little bit. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and I hope that solved any of your download problems.